this morning I'm testing another feature of the Syscomp SIG 101 which I have been using as a signature analyzer in a number of videos including some recently using it on an old radio. The instrument that I'm testing this morning, or I should say the device, is a Ramsey amplifier kit that I built. Uh, if those, if you're interested in that one, you might look at my numbers 174 and 175, that uh, videos that show the construction and uh, testing of this Ramsey kit. But what I'm doing this morning is I'm looking at another feature of the SIG 101, the network analyzer. Now, those of you that have watched the uh, series I've done on using this as a signature analyzer probably already know that it's also an oscilloscope, a function generator, and uh, arbitrary waveform generator, etc. But one of the features that it offers in the software is a vector network analyzer. And the difference between a network analyzer and a vector network analyzer is phase. A network analyzer generally just does a Bode plot, in other words, just frequency versus gain. Uh, this uh, vector network analyzer also does phase. So what we have is the SysComp, which, and I'll show you the software in a second, the Ramsey, and I have set the right and left channels to exactly or very close to 15 dB of gain. I'm using a 15 ohm uh, load resistor. The, this amplifier is rated for 2 to 32 ohms output impedance, so I thought 16 was a good, or 15 was a good median point. And the way that this works, the output of the function generator is fed to channel 1, and it's also fed to the input of the amplifier. The output of the amplifier is fed to channel 2. So let's take a look now at the uh, the SysComp software. It's called Circuit Gear, and uh, running the network analyzer. So here is the Circuit Gear in the network analyzer mode. We're going from about 12, well, from 12 hertz to 200,000 hertz or 200 kilohertz. I'll run it. You notice that the vertical is uh, in dB, 0 dB here, in other words, unity gain here, 20 dB here. I have channel the left channel here set for 15 dB of gain, approximately. And the frequency is from about 12 here out to 200 or just under 200 kilohertz and I'll talk about that a little later because it doesn't actually go quite to 200 even though that's what the frequency is set to here. But nonetheless this gives you the frequency and phase plot. This is the phase plot from about minus 80 degrees to more than, uh, yeah, from about plus 80 degrees to uh, minus 90, more than 90 degrees, uh, so a total phase shift from the lowest to the highest frequency of 180 degrees. The uh, characteristic of a vector network analyzer compared to a regular one is this has the phase plot as well as the, the uh, gain plot, which is often called a Bode plot. So this is the left channel. Now let me switch over to the right channel. Okay, and run that. By the way, you'll notice on the left here is the oscilloscope display. It's good to watch that as you're running, at least for the first run, 
to make sure you're not getting distortion. I'll, I'll run the, the signal up in a second and show you what I mean by distortion. But here is the right channel and the only difference is there is a slight difference in the, the 3 dB point at the high end and a little difference at the low end but they're basically identical. Uh, and of course I have the two set so that you get 15 dB of gain as you see there on each channel. Now it would be nice I think if they had more uh, lines showing for example 10 dB and perhaps uh, 3, 5, uh, 10 or 2, uh, 5, 10 or something like that. But you can, as you see, by moving the cursor you can get a reading of a particular point. So it's not a real serious thing that they don't have those. Let me show you what happens when we increase the waveform amplitude. I'm going to go up to about uh, 9 or 10, let's say 10 percent. And watch the left. You see what's happening to the the blue waveform is very truncated. It's uh, compressed because the amplifier is being overdriven. So we'll go back down to the I think it was 3% that I was using. And we'll rerun it. And this time watch the waveforms and you see they look just like normal sine waves. So one of the things, now this is not a defect in the instrument. This is actually happens with any amplifier if you overdrive it. And so the things you can adjust on this network analyzer are the start frequency, the end or stop frequency, the step, and I'll talk about that in a second, whether you have a logarithmic or a linear plot, and then the waveform, uh, the, the amplitude of the waveform. And as I pointed out, the combination of the gain of the amplifier and the waveform uh, amplitude that you're putting into it determine whether or not it uh, it will distort or or uh, limit. It's obviously important if you're testing something for high fidelity applications that you use uh, a low enough input that you don't drive the amplifier into saturation. So once again gain and phase. I said I would mention the frequency step now, the frequency step is done in uh, one point and then uh, a decimal value after that. So, for example, I have it set to 1.10. If you set this to something, for example, we'll set it down to, uh, oh, let's say 1.05. And we'll rerun that. And what you'll notice is that it's a, a, a bit slower. And of course the reason is because it's taking smaller steps in the frequency analysis. So of course with more steps or with uh, shorter steps you need more of them to cover the same distance. And you see that it, it runs a bit slower. Otherwise it's basically the same. What I've found is that about 1.1 at least for audio amplifiers, is about right. So the other thing is you may notice that the highest frequency that it goes to at the end of the run, by the way, it shows you the starting frequency, uh, or I'm sorry, the ending frequency. And the smaller the step, the closer it gets to the 200 kilohertz, but it never actually gets there. I'll show you another thing. Suppose that you change this to 100,000. 
and run it. You may notice now that the frequency only goes to 100,000 on the display, 1e to the 5th. Earlier it was going to 1e to the 6th. One of the things that this software does is it only displays frequency in decades. So if you have the stop frequency set anywhere above 100 kilohertz, then it will automatically scale everything to go to, on the right, a megahertz. Although this particular instrument only will go to 200 kilohertz on its own. So the, the stop frequency not only determines where the waveform generator stops, but it also changes the display a little bit. Makes it a little easier to read because it spreads it out a little more, but let's suppose now we just go to, let's say, 100,100. And you may notice it's that automatically scaled it up to 1e to the 6th, even though it's only going to go 100 hertz above uh, 100 kilohertz. So uh, the software is a little bit simplistic, but I find it to be pretty useful. It's, uh, it's a neat addition to, uh, to any of these USB oscilloscopes that uh, are available. And for those of you that have watched some of my videos on the Analog Discovery and the Analog Discovery 2, that also has a vector network analyzer that allows you to do the same thing, a gain and phase plot over a range of frequencies. Now, one of the limitations of the SIG-101 is it only goes to 200 kilohertz, but then I only paid $100 for it. So it's not, uh, it's not intended to be a, a very uh, high frequency instrument. So at any rate, I thought it might be interesting to take a look at what the uh, uh, waveform or the SIG-101 does. By the way, the way you get to this, on the left is the uh, is how you you uh, check the uh, right up here. This is the oscilloscope mode. This is the network analyzer mode, and then over here is the signature analyzer mode that we've worked with before. So we're operating in the network analyzer mode, and you notice it says network analyzer, and then below it it says Bode plotter, or Bode plotter. Different people pronounce it different ways. So this is the SysComp SIG-101 in the network analyzer mode, testing a Ramsey amplifier. I hope this was uh, useful. Uh, <laughs> whether, whether you learned anything or not, at least uh, if you aren't familiar with the SIG-101, it does show you one more feature that it uh, offers. Uh, if you are familiar with it, well, at least uh, you've gotten to see how it works on this Ramsey amplifier. So, I probably will not do any more on this uh, network analyzer. But uh, I may do some more on the SIG-101 at some point, depending on what occurs to me and what else comes up. But uh, I do hope you'll look forward to some future videos. And in the meantime, have a nice day.